The CEO of Salesforce is going viral for his victory lap over replacing thousands of his employees with AI agents. Because I need less heads. Exhilarated following a massive round of layoffs, Mark Benioff gave the world a first glimpse of Tesla's third generation Optimus humanoid robot during a visit with someone with an even bigger appetite for reduction. It hinted at a much bigger play brewing behind the scenes. One that could upend entire industries and rewrite the balance of power between human workers, virtual agents, and the coming wave of physical automation. One of the biggest employers in the Bay Area is cutting thousands of jobs because of AI. So what should you be doing if you're worried about losing your job? Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff entered September 2025 boasting that his mega company has entered a new era of AI-driven productivity. On The Logan Bartlett Show, the billionaire Salesforce co-founder revealed that the king of SaaS had cut more than 4,000 customer support jobs. On my support, I've reduced it from 9,000 heads to about 5,000 because I need less heads. He described it as part of a shift toward agentic artificial intelligence with 30 to 50% of internal work handled by AI across support, engineering, marketing, and analytics. Despite the cuts, he emphasized that humans still play a vital role, especially in complex scenarios. And this is the most exciting thing that's happened, you know, in the last nine months for Salesforce. His tone is markedly different compared to how he handled earlier Salesforce layoffs. It's a shift from empathetic leadership to clinical efficiency. We are seeing an incredible transformation of every enterprise into becoming an agentic enterprise. When he cut 10% of the company's workforce in 2023, he spoke directly to employees in an all-hands meeting. He leaned into Salesforce's so-called Ahana culture that likens employees to family. But just two years later, workforce reductions are no longer a source of shame. What was once packaged as a painful necessity is now proof of innovation. The Salesforce leader's comments rubbed many the wrong way. Critics called them tone deaf accusing him of downplaying the human cost of layoffs to hype his company's agent force offering. On Reddit, users identifying themselves as Salesforce employees called the claims exaggerated. Investors remain skeptical about whether agent force will generate enough revenue to justify Salesforce's aggressive push. According to Salesforce, the platform powers autonomous agents that can resolve support tickets, execute marketing workflows, manage sales coaching, and review contracts for legal compliance. Salesforce faces an uphill battle as it positions its agentic platform as a competitor to Microsoft Copilot and Google Gemini for Workspace. While Salesforce's CRM software is used by hundreds of thousands of companies to manage customer relationships, Microsoft and Google are embedded much deeper into the daily workflows of employees. As the internet reacted to his bold remarks, Benioff paid a visit to the man who arguably started the trend of making layoffs look cool. After acquiring Twitter for $44 billion in October 2022, Elon Musk terminated around 50% of the social media giant's workforce almost immediately. It sent a signal to Wall Street which began reframing layoffs as proof of efficiency rather than failure. Mark Zuckerberg cited it as an influence when he cut over 11,000 jobs at Meta, which he framed as a strategic pivot. Other big tech leaders followed suit, and the bandwagon effect took hold downstream with smaller startups and mid-sized SaaS companies copying the playbook. During his visit to Tesla, Benioff received a private, unscripted demo of the EV maker's next-generation Optimus humanoid robot. Hey, Optimus, what are you doing there? Just chilling, ready to help. In the demo at Tesla's Fremont facility, a Generation 3 Optimus prototype integrated with Grok AI. The robot sports a golden exterior and human-like hands that appear to be aesthetic placeholders. Optimus engineers are reportedly busy redesigning the Gen 3 robotic hand for mass production. 
Tesla originally aimed to manufacture at least 10,000 Optimus humanoids by the end of 2025. That goal is now being pushed into 2026. During the demo, the Tesla bot pauses before showing Benny off to the kitchen. Room. Right now it's kind of paranoid about space. Musk can be heard in the background saying it's being cautious for safety. Critics called its robotic bipedal locomotion lackluster, while supporters pointed out the prototype is still under development. Regardless, Benioff was impressed, calling it the dawn of the physical agent force revolution. The casual flex suggests he views Tesla as a potential partner. Integrating Optimus with Agent Force could give Salesforce the edge it's looking for over Microsoft and Google. Agent Force would act as the AI brain managing digital workflows, while Optimus becomes the physical workforce handling real world tasks. Meanwhile, Chinese companies have reportedly exceeded their nationally set goal, manufacturing over 10,000 humanoids already in 2025. Another perceived leader in the global humanoid robotics race, the Silicon Valley unicorn figure, hopes to beat Tesla and China's robotics firms to the mass market. The company just shared this demo footage of its flagship humanoid robot, the Figure 2, putting dishes into a washing machine. The robot's hands demonstrated remarkable dexterity as it organized stacked plates, handled fragile glasses, adapted to messy setups, and recovered gracefully from errors. According to founder Brett Adcock, its robots are learning rapidly thanks to massive injections of new data into its end-to-end -end AI model Helix. Figure is training its robots for mundane tasks as it seeks to fast-track their deployment into households. The company is targeting 100,000 shipped humanoids within the next four years. For a closer look at the Figure 2 and other humanoids to watch out for, check the related video.